question, Michelle said, we want to do a biweekly housing payment. The client likes the idea and is willing. Our property manager is on board and says that his software and ACH will accommodate it. How do we handle it in a manner that will not be a problem with regards to state laws? Um, could be considered an additional security bonus, but no, 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 don't do that. Of course, we want to avoid that. Just want to be sure we are not running afoul of any laws. Should we do an addendum to the lease? How should we write it up? Okay, so this is a strict um, lease, not a lease option, wherever you guys are. Hopefully you're still there. But at any yes, rate- Yes, it's a strict uh, lease option. Okay, okay. You know, lease with an option or just a lease? Oh, lease, lease. And they're going to get lease. the option soon. Okay. okay. So if they're going to do an ACH, is it your bank account that's going to do the ACH or your property manager? Property managers. Okay. So you probably just need a debit authorization form that they will sign. Um, I think in coaching, I probably gave you one. If I didn't, send me an email and I'll get you one. Uh, you just have them sign it for however much they're going to be withdrawing on an every two week basis. They sign it. It'll come out of their account and into your property manager's account. And then he's going to get it to you. Okay. But you know, they end up paying an extra uh, payment for the yeah, it goes in, It goes into their rainy day fund. Right. And, and do I need to. Nothing. Don't need to do nothing. That in any way. That's just a, a, an agreement between them and me and nobody cares or needs nope. to know or anything nope. like that. Uh, you do. You're right. You do keep track of it. I keep track yeah, of it in of a spreadsheet. Keep track of it. Yes. Yeah. Keep track of it in a spreadsheet. And they're then paid a month ahead. They're paid a month ahead. So if they have a problem, they have that cushion of an extra month. And yeah, then, I get that part. Yeah. If but, they exercise their option to purchase that extra month becomes part of their down payment as well yep. as the cash part of their yep. option fee. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. I get that too. I just didn't know if there was any way that I should, you know, write up some kind of an addendum saying that the excess that you have paid after one year no. in no. You know, over time, and, blah, blah, blah. No. No, you don't have to do any of that. And as a matter of fact, um, you can make sure that um, uh, <laughs> I've had clients try to use it for a vacation. Uh, uh It's not used for that. It's used for when you cannot make your payment mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and nothing else. Mm -hmm. So that becomes really clear. No, I haven't had to do anything. A matter of fact, I got some clients that are almost $1,000 in, in advance in their rainy day fund, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So nothing specific, just keep track of it. Okay. And show them any time. Now we send out emails, kind of like an invoice every month to our mm -hmm. clients. That may or may not be something people want to do, but we show them a, a running status of their account every single month. Yeah, so they know if they've got stuff in their rainy day fund. Mm -hmm. And okay. how much. And how much, exactly. Yep. Does that okay. help? Yes, that helps. Absolutely. Thank you. Perfect. All right. 